Okay, I already applied my eyeshadow base. I'm going to apply this pink from my 120 color palette just to the very inner corner and I'm going to use it damp. We're not going to be doing any too much blending today just because it's a stage makeup and we don't really need to. I'm going to use these two purples right here. One is shimmery and the other is quite matte. I'm going to blend into the pink just right in. That will be the middle of the lid. And then I'm going to be using the purple, the, the one that is more, perp, more, more matte. On this. And making like a straight shape. Towards the, my, the end of my, uh, my eyebrow. And then I'll connect it to my outer corner and just pack the shadow on. And it's, so, it's okay if it's not perfect. It just has to, to have that shape. Remember, it's a stage makeup. You don't need to be really, 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 really careful. And I'm going to use a smaller brush like this. And I'll trace that outer V that I that I made. I'm gonna trace it like outlining it. Just right there where the pink and purple meet. Just right there. And then I'll make the shape right here. And basically, I'm smoking a lot with a black. I'm using a matte black. I like it better. If I lose a lot of the purple, I'm just going to reapply it. like that. Blend it again. I'll be using a slightly shimmery white for the, the highlight area. Just being careful not to let the black and white touch each other because it looks pretty ugly the mix of white over the black it's grayish and it's ugly I don't like it now one of the most important elements of Arabic makeup is the liner and I'm going to trace a thick line and I'm going to wing it out like really really dramatically like on this side I'm going to be using this gel liner it is by Wet n Wild and it's absolutely perfect starting right here inwards in a straight line and then from the inside But it has to be really thick. I try to make it really pointy.
And now in the inner corner, I'm going to extend the line of the eyeliner to make it long like this. It's going to elongate the eye, very Arabic-like. And then I'm going to connect that to my lower lash line in a soft curve and making it really thick also underneath. I'm going to take some of the purple with a damp brush and I'm going to put that under the lash line like that, like here. Kind of smoke it out a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm going to apply my false lashes on my lipstick and I'll be right back with you. One of the most important elements in Arabic makeup is the eyebrows. So right now I'm going to use a waterproof pencil. Very important that when it's going to be a performance or so anything on stage, all the products that we use are waterproof and sweatproof because the lights are really, really, can really, really heat, heat up, you know, the people on stage. They, they can feel really hot and, and make the performers sweat a lot. So I'm just going to apply that pencil, that's by Stylish Style, and follow the natural shape of the brow. For my cheeks, I'm wearing a pink blush, but I'm going to emphasize a little bit more. I'm going to use this Profusion palette. I'm going to be using that pinky color right there with a little, small, tiny Stippling brush. To make it really, really easy to blend. It is very pigmented. I'm just gonna... And for my lips, I'm gonna be using a long-lasting product. This product is L'Oreal Endless. It's a very nice pink color. A trick that I use to accentuate the colors in a, in a, in a look without the need of applying more color is using a concealer, and I'm going to use a, a lighter concealer, lighter than my skin, and I already did this. I applied it around my eye area, also a little bit on the forehead, a bridge of the nose, on my chin and then sealed with a, with a highlighting powder. This is by Revlon. I just applied it on the cheeks and on, the, on those areas that I applied the highlighting concealer. And that will make all the colors in there pop even more. I just want to say that please don't leave hater comments. Um, this is not the re your regular Arabic makeup inspired look is not. It, this is different. This is for stage. Arabic makeup is very, very beautiful to be inspired with for a party or for even for a wedding. 
But this is not the case. This is not to where every single day. This is for stage, for an, for an Arabic dancer that's going to perform. And the person that wants to do her makeup requested me to do like a tutorial on how to do it. So please don't leave hate a comment. This is not the way you have to look if you want to go out to the streets, okay? It's just how I did it. I just wanted to show you. Okay, so I hope it's helpful someday for someone. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.